It has been three years since the inaugural session of the Binational Commission, which was held in Harare on 20th February 2019. It is encouraging that our two countries are accelerating the consolidation and deepening of our fraternal bonds for the mutual benefit of our people, peoples and economies. This third binational commission session provides us with the opportunity to build on our historic and strategic relationship as we strive to improve the standards of life of our two peoples towards shared aspirations and a common future. Your Excellency, although we meet at this binational commission against the continuing menace of the COVID-19 pandemic, we are encouraged that the containment measures in place within our respective countries are mitigating its impact. In the case of Zimbabwe, my government is determined to ensure the growth and recovery of all sectors of our economy in spite of the COVID-19 pandemic. I commend the ministers and officials from our two countries for the reports that guide this session and process. It is pleasing to note that following our last meeting in Mahuni in February 2020, various agencies and departments have been working diligently towards the implementation of our decisions. This has seen a notable number of agreements and the memoranda of understanding being implemented. However, more work still needs to be done. During this third session of the Binational Commission, arrays of additional agreements have been concluded and are ready for signing. This progress is laudable and will help translate our intentions into programs and projects which directly benefit our respective countries. The successful working visit you undertook in March last year enhanced the collaboration between our respective education sectors. I'm glad to note that the Zimbabwean experts in curriculum development identified by your government they have already been deployed within your institutions. That visit also afforded us the opportunity to consolidate our regional positions, including the decision on the candidature of Mr. Elias Magosi for the post of Executive Secretary of SATIC. I wish to once again congratulate our dear brother Magosi on his appointment as the Executive Secretary of SATIC.